and it goes back to your main screen. So now this is with the stock freewheel that just comes on the bike. And I'm in the pedal assist four, just full power. And I find that when I'm riding, it starts spinning out about 20 to 21, about 20 miles an hour. I can't hardly engage the gear anymore. So I'm gonna put the new freewheel on and show you how that's done. And then we'll test it out again. Hi there. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can change the gears on your Rad Expand 5. Let's go. The first thing we need to do is remove this rear wheel. I just recently did an, a video on how to install the Tannis armor in the back of this here um, that has a detailed instructions on how you can remove this rear wheel. And I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check that out. Just to go over it real quickly, you just need to remove these two four millimeter bolts. And then there's another four millimeter bolt on the other side here. So go ahead and pull those out. And then you can take this little cage off and you wanna shift down into your highest gear, the smallest ring in the back, and then loosen these two axle nuts on both sides and you can slip the wheel off. So if you need any help getting this rear wheel off, check out that video that I did on the Tannis armor. Otherwise, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can uh, install the new free wheel on this guy. So once you have the new display, what you're also gonna need is this new free wheel right here. This is the 1134 free wheel from Drift Maniac. You're also gonna need this little park tool free wheel removal tool, and I'll leave links in the description below for both of these. Uh, you'll also need a crescent wrench, and that's it. So once you have the wheel off, we just need to take this axle nut off, set that aside. There's this little washer, this guy, take that off. And then there's this little slotted spacer. So you wanna go ahead and take this, this little guy off too. Then you wanna grab your freewheel tool and just slot it right over the top there. Then grab your crescent wrench and you're gonna hook that onto the freewheel tool. And then you're gonna wanna turn this counterclockwise to unthread it. Give it a good pull. And then it'll unthread and just keep spinning that till this whole guy comes off. And then it'll just slide right off. And then you'll see there's this little spacer underneath here oh, that you can drop. So this little spacer, just leave that on there. And then you'll notice here's the old one and then here's the new one. So we're going this high gear, the smallest ring right here is a 14 tooth and we're gonna switch it to an 11 tooth. And then this low gear here is a 32 tooth and we're gonna bump that to a 34. So that's gonna give us a little bit better climbing gear and significantly better higher gear top speed gear so just slide this right back on and you can kind of start threading it by hand so just spin that till it feels like it's threading on and then you can spin it the whole way and at this point if you want to you can put the freewheel tool back in and just give it a nice tug but you don't actually even have to do this right now. This will self tighten once it's on the bike. Now we wanna grab this little slotted washer here. And you wanna put this so that it's in the same orientation as the one on this side. And see how the little nub end here is pointing this direction. So once I flip this around, I wanna make sure that this little notch that's right here is also pointing up. So we just slide that right on. So you can see that that's pointing in the same direction as this one on the other side. So once you got that back on, pointing in the same direction, uh, then we wanna put this washer back on and screw the axle nut down a little bit. And you're all done. Three wheels on. Now you can just reinstall this wheel onto your bike. So now I'm gonna test out this Rad Expand 5 with the new free wheel. And let's see how it goes. I get a little runway here. So we're just ripping along. And I can still keep on pedaling. 
but it's a big help and should be a pretty sweet upgrade. Hope you enjoy. If you like upgrading your e-bike, please like this video so we can share it to more people so that they can upgrade their e-bikes. I have a whole playlist right here about the Radexpand 5 and I'll keep adding to it every week with new videos and tests and awesome things to do with it. See you on the next one.